The sense of action, the realism that the, the filmmakers used was incredible. The acting Ashton Holmes we saw tonight uh, in particular was, was phenomenal acting. Uh, the sense of realism though is what I liked. And the battle scenes in particular with the bullets flying and the sound, it was just incredible. It's an awesome experience. I thought it was a very moving film. Uh, you know, being a Vietnam vet, you know, it makes me, you know, really appreciate those things that happened before my time, you know. Uh, and I'm quite sure it was very moving for those uh, World War II vets that were here, you know, to uh, see that. And I, I don't, it probably brought back some good and bad memories for them. I thought the movie was excellent. Uh, I became a Marine in the Vietnam era because of what these guys did to save our country. The miniseries I thought was awesome. It gives me, I had goosebumps. It's uh, even more respect for the people from that generation going doing what they had to do. I think it's very important that the younger generation uh, understand what it is and understand how uh, things are and, and the sacrifices that a lot of the older generation or my generation made for them. I thought it was a great movie. I think the, think the people are going to be in for a real story seeing that. It just shows what the tradition for the Marine Corps has been, you know, from then until now. And I think that the young warriors today will, can really appreciate, you know, the, uh, the performance of the Marine Corps in the past. It really, uh, this movie opened my eyes in a sense that it gave me time to reflect back, seeing that uh, the contributions and sacrifices that Marines from way back when made. And uh, it just really touches to know that the Marine Corps has not changed in their ethos, you know, honor, courage, commitment lived on back then, it still lives on today, and uh, it gave me great joy to have a chance to witness firsthand of, uh, and shake hands with some of the guys that were on Iwo Jima, Guadalcanal, and those battles. I think, if anything, the Pacific campaign has been ignored. A lot of people know about D-Day and the European uh, campaign, but not a lot of people understand what happened in the Pacific. So I think it is an interesting outlook on it, and it's a way to open that up for younger generations. <laughs> I thought the Pacific was fabulous. I mean, I think it's a great testimony to what so many young men did in, uh, in the Marines and in all the military in World War II in the Pacific, which in my opinion has not been given enough credit over the years. It's never as much credit as uh, what happened in Europe. So You have to compare it to Band of Brothers a little bit here and there. And um, seeing the men before they went off to war, that's something we didn't see in Band of Brothers. And I think it's going to create a better connection between the viewer and the characters. So I think this could be more powerful. I don't. It's hard to say. It's going to be as good, and if it does the same service for the Marines that it did for the paratroopers, it's all good. I, I really do, do hope it opens up a, uh, a dialogue of some kind, or at least some kind of a sense of of what kind of sacrifice these guys did go through. Band of Brothers, my son, it's uh, one of his, my, his favorite things, and uh, you know he didn't know anything about World War II. So, um, so I think this will do the very same thing. I think this will hopefully open some eyes, get some people interested, and maybe deal and uh, see what it's really all about. It's not a glorious thing. It's, a, uh, it's an incredibly uh, hard thing for these young guys to go through. If anything, it reminded me of my grandparents and what they went through. Both my grandparents fought, my grandfathers fought in World War II. So it was nice to meet some of them in person and thank them. I thought the Pacific was amazing. I think it's such an important series, especially for younger generations of Americans. Um, we want to appreciate the, the blessings we have in this country, and I think that this is going to be a real eye-opener, especially for younger Americans. Um, I walk away with a lot more respect for the greatest generation and the Marine Corps because you see the dirtiness of that war. That's what uh, this, this series shows. It shows the grime, shows the nastiness. A lot of Hollywood war movies where most of us get our history, most of us form our opinions, they're sanitized, they're clean, it's just Rambo stuff. This was gritty, this was dirty, it was ugly. That's probably how it was. Uh, I think it's tremendous that this is out there and it's going to get as much attention as Band of Brothers. What I most learned tonight was the personalization of it, I think. To see the personal experiences of, of Sid Phillips, for example, in the film was uh, uh, just to get an understanding of his feelings and what he thought and what he felt as he went through combat. Uh, it was a remarkable experience for them, but it was conveyed in the, uh, in the film for us as viewers. Yes, I am looking forward to, to watching it on Comcast On Demand and, and actually going to the uh, local channels and, and getting deeper into uh, the behind the scenes stuff as well. March 14th, it debuts on HBO. I cannot wait for that. And, uh, and I too, I'll be buying the, uh, the DVDs when they come out. Absolutely.
receiving! Drover, King 6! Right, two! We need an airstrike on it! Over! We gotta get the hell out of here! Let's go! Let's go! 